Welcome to our Swift programming tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter. How can we test if a decimal is a whole number in Swift 3? Our viewer has noticed that there are a lot of convoluted solutions floating around online, and they feel that the answer should be simpler. They've come up with their own solution, but they're wondering if they might be missing something crucial. Let's dive into their approach and see if it holds up. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. In Swift, we often need to check if a decimal number is a whole number. Let's explore a simple solution to this problem. First, we can create an extension for the decimal type. This allows us to add new functionality to existing types in Swift. Inside this extension, we will define a computed property called isWholeNumber. This property will return true if the decimal is a whole number. The key part of this solution is checking the exponent of the decimal. If the exponent is 1, it indicates that the number is a whole number. Finally, let's test our solution. You can create decimal instances and check if they are whole numbers using the isWholeNumber property. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To check if a decimal is a whole number in Swift, you can create an extension for the decimal type. This extension includes a computed property called isWholeNumber. The isWholeNumber property checks if the decimal is zero or normal, then rounds it and compares it to the original value. Here's how you can use it. For example, decimal 1234.0 returns true for isWholeNumber, while decimal 345 returns false. This method also works for decimals with non-minimal mantissas, like 100 times 10 to the power of negative one, which still evaluates as a whole number. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To check if a decimal is a whole number in Swift, you can use an extension. This extension includes a property to determine if the decimal has a fractional part. And that's it, guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I hope you have a good one. Cheers.